I had never worked with Mel Blanc until I started working at Warner Brothers. He was a very funny guy. Uh, a lot of the time, uh, I learned some of the dirty jokes from Mel. Uh, he, he would tell jokes, and then, and then uh, we always recorded separately because a lot of his um, characters were speeded up. And so in, when I was called to do um, Broomstick Bunny, to do Witch Hazel, uh, he was always there at the studio, but he would record after me because, uh, uh, as I said, he was speeded up. And um, but when when you see the film, it's it's incredible. You'd think that we were talking to each other, but you get adroit actors who are who are working and and doing things solo, uh, it, and and you know what went on before. Uh, there. It, it it was just wonderful when when they do a feature film i was in mulan i played grandmother fa i never met the gal who played mulan until she came out of the recording studio and i went in so um we always recorded together well i guessed it a lot on the jetsons and then of course that was television where where it's almost like radio you 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 have to have an ensemble cast and work together but uh but Mel was a very funny guy, and obviously, extremely talented, very famous man. Uh, Chuck Jones always used to uh, call me the male. Uh, no, everybody said that um, uh, I was the female Mel Blank, but Chuck always said that Mel was the male June Foray. <laughs> which is very flattering, but not really true. We're, maybe we were equal in, in, the, in the characters that we did. <laughs>